South. Joining me also on the side is Honorable Mukasambide, Vice President uh, for the Democratic Party. And also joining me on the other side is uh, Honorable Ephraim Kamuntu. He is a former Justice and Constitutional Affairs uh, Minister, but also now Senior Presidential Advisor. Gentlemen, thanks for joining me tonight. Um, uh, let me begin with you, Honorable Mbide. Uh, does Democratic Party associate with the proposals of Honorable Richard Lumo? Uh, the, the party has not yet taken a uniform position on, on the matter. But as Deputy President, I, I can give you what I find as the objective general view of the party as regards uh, the bill. It is actually a personal bill. It is a private member's bill proposed entirely and in fact researched by the Honorable Lumu and the party has not even officially yet received a copy for determination. All right. Uh, so mm -hmm. you've looked at some of the proposals, uh, at least some of the content that we do expect because yes. this is from Honorable uh, Richard Lumu. What do you think of some of the proposals around especially the position of Deputy Speaker reserved for the opposition? Uh, of, of course, when you seek to amend Article 82, Capital A, it is very unlikely that you will have to introduce the position of speakership the way uh, it, it is being intended for purposes that you are ring fencing it for the opposition. Because ring fencing goes now to the root of the, of the of objective two of the national objectives and the directive st uh, principles of state policy in the constitution, which are part of the constitution under Article 8, Capital A, which give details that for all positions of authority, all persons in Uganda should be given access for competition. Now, that requires now a constitutional amendment. Yet, the bill is definitely, the way it is, anchored and premised on Article 82, capital A, which in its opinion is succinct on election. So I find it very, uh, I find it a bit like a daisiko, and I hope my brother is not conducting himself to a voyage of, a voyage of discoveries. Of um, with the way this motion was introduced in Parliament in Gulu, and Honorable Umu was given um, leave to go and draft this bill, and the current politics at Parliament, do you see this bill succeeding or stalling? Uh, first of all, now I think I have identified where almost the whole country is getting misdirected on the governance issues that are before us. Number one, we are running a presidential system of governance. Uh, in a presidential system of governance, it is very unlikely that you will have a leader of opposition in the character of, 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 of the nature that we have generated by Article 82A, who is the leader of opposition, so called, in the parliament of Uganda. What we have in Uganda is only by nomenclature. It, it is by name, but we have a minority leader. And those proposing an election against the same, it is because they are leaving a figment of a fertile imagination that actually we have a leader of opposition in the parliament. This guy is a minority leader. Now, in a Westminster model, that is where a member of parliament is elected, like what exists in Pakistan, for example, after the, amendment, the 18th Amendment in 2010 that obliterated the powers of the president and they went to Westminster. A leader is akin to a leader of, of opposition business, who is now at par with the leader of government business. Both can be appointed. And, and what we are looking at here is as if we have got an opposition politician that is a president in waiting. That doesn't exist in Uganda. So in Uganda, we are fond of names. We can call, uh, for example, our electoral body an independent electoral commission, but appointed by one of the candidates. So this is not actually what happens. So let us not misdirect ourselves. Like Professor said, if the country is now beginning to think about Article 1 of all power belongs to the people, that we have kept the opposition as a corridor of the powerless, we are now amending the constitution to amend the directive principles of state policy to include among others that the speaker, not even deputy speaker, why deputy speaker, that among us the organs of government of the three, the opposition nominates, for example, the opposition competes for speakership, as it, ha as it happens in Rwanda, for example. So we can use models and benchmark, and that can only be a government bill. So I, I don't feel that my brother is doing what actually we are talking about.
What he's doing is targeting something that is non-existent. All right. Uh, thank you.